Hi, it's me, Jody, and my lovely co-host. Amanda, Amanada, I, you, you are acting like you've never spoken on a mic in nope, your life. never. <laughs> never just, I mean, we're coming on a hot mic. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Hot, got uh, a hot when... mic here. Uh, it's <laughs> 9, 10 in the morning. So mm. I woke up like <sighs> covered in sweat for some reason. Oh. Oh. Strike that. Should we strike it? Should I strike it? We've done a lot strike of shows it. with Corky, so we know all the lingo. <laughs> Um, we're obviously just tap dancing because we're cold opening here, but this is going to be the first of many, uh, people are going to be just thrilled about this, uh, uh, a not so new tier. Okay. Just explain it, Amanda. Explain this to me and everyone else. Like we're five. Okay. So, um, we're both stupid and we've been doing YouTube <laughs> for over two years. And, and like one of the options is like do a membership and then neither of us even like I think we both probably saw that that existed and then forgot about it forever. Um, probably. But it's like its own little mem It's It's basically like a Patreon, but on YouTube. So if you only like YouTube, you could sign up for that. Like, And so tier one is, t well, tier one is a dollar. You can just give us a dollar a month because you okay. love us so much. Tier two is the, it's all the same price as our regular Patreon. Tier poo. Audio. Tier poo. Mm. <laughs> Nothing for three, huh? P. Ah, tier P. P. Ooh, okay. I don't like that one, babe. <laughs> Tier the, poo. Turd, the turd tier. Okay. Turd tier. Tier uh, two is TRP. This is what, what you're watching right now. Total request pod. You guys submit any crazy show. The more chaotic, the better. And some of our best work is like MASH, Baywatch. We've got an mm. episode of Dragnet coming up that's going to be lit. Yep. Uh, so you can watch us record those. And then if you're on our regular Patreon, I'll, I'll put that private link to Patreon. So you don't have to sign up for both. You can just choose which one. If you're on if you're on audio Patreon, you get audio and video. If you're on YouTube and you only like watching YouTube, you can watch it here. YouTube. TRP. Yep. Tier two, tier poo. No, tier three, third tier, is you get TRP, but then you can also watch us do Love to Hate TV. And what do we do over on Love to Hate TV, Jody? Um, I believe we do this, seeking sister wife. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, yes, I have the wrong uh this is going great. <laughs> I just got really confused and just like, I mean, well, you'll be able to see this now, just the like glaze over my eyes, like, oh God. <laughs> then happening? you can just watch me tap dancing as my eyes dart around trying to like grasp for straws. What do we what do we do over on uh Love to Hate TV? We do uh Seeking Sister oh, Wife. Oh my gosh. Oops. Seeking Sister Wife. We're doing the Sister Wife. Um what do you even call that? Just the anthology of Sister Wives yep. every season. We'll be continuing to do that after this little break for Seeking Sister Wife and obviously in light of everything going on with the Sister Wives family, the Brown family. I thought we just kind of give it a little pause button. Um, but we have, oh gosh, tons of episodes over there from Honestly, what, Housewives, yeah. um, Marriage Boot Camp, Teen Moms, uh, uh, Young and Pregnant, I think we have. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't pregnant, know, like everything. me and Jody both had our own separate podcast. She did a lot of like Bravo. She did all the reality TV and I did Just Teen Mom. And then we met, became besties, and then combined our podcast everyone all of jody's fans lost their gd minds over not it true, babe. but not anyway true, babe. everyone's accepted it now that this is not going away so they're yep. just gonna walk into the fire so anyway that's it so there's so many so many episodes marriage yeah. boot camp right? so much shit so anyway join us either way there's somewhere you can click over here i guess here i don't uh -huh. know if i'm pointing that yeah. uh you can click and maybe probably says membership and you yeah. gotta, I'll probably figure it out. So there you go. But you should not sign up for both things. No. You get, you get everything. Yeah. And we'll, we'll clarify that once I wrap my head around <laughs> all these things that you just said, we'll, we'll go over. I it, was so trying to explain worry. it to Jody last night and she's like, explain this to me like I'm five. Uh huh. <laughs> um, but okay. So today we are launching into season five episode four of seeking sister yeah. wife and by the way the reason we don't have music anymore is because now we're on youtube so we're gonna YouTube. have to do something creative yeah but anyway no no music anymore we should do a duet obviously i'm taking all the low tones <laughs> <laughs> okay season five episode four seeking the truth Natalia worries Danielle is hesitant about adding a wife. Ashley Sherwood meets with a new potential sister wife. The Ryans nervously prepare to go on a make it or break it date. Danielle Davis decides if the polygamous life is right for her. 
Ooh, okay, you're gonna have to play this. Episode. This is not on my Discovery app for some reason. Uh-oh. I just on my phone, so you're playing okay. this, babe. Got Go it. Rogue. Okay, so let me uh, just get a little ahead of the recap here. What the hell, okay, Discovery? And away we go. One minute twenty-five. Jesus. Davis family of Laura Colorado. Danielle abruptly moved out of our home and into her own apartment not that long ago. And- okay, hold on. I'm going to pause right here because Danielle, the way she's hugging Nick is the way my mom used to hug me when I was little. Just that one arm hug like, okay, there you there, go. There. Good enough. That's, good enough. that's nice. Uh-huh. By the way, mine is uh-huh. mine did uh, upload again. And by the way, this the picture on here, Camp Canada, is a picture of... Um, Okay, oh god, this is a long walk. 90 Day Fiance, who's the one what? that like smoked and and then um that busted woman like Angela? went and dated No. Um everyone liked this one, I think. But she dated that guy that was like a singer, Kimbali. Yeah, but the one before her. Oh, Lisa, baby girl Lisa. Yes, yeah, there's a picture of Lisa. So that <laughs> little the person, world? the little person too early. The, TLC's just effing it up and putting um, the wrong picture on Seeking Sister. Give Seeking Sister Eyes a little more love. Just yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no, this the cover for us is um, Newbert and Danielle on the couch. Oh, okay. Do you want to just play it? Would that be easier for you? Yeah, that'll be more okay, let's natural. Go. Let's do it. What timestamp were you at? I am right at 151. With a one arm hug at 151. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. We've always been completely open and honest with her about wanting to expand the family. So I'm not really sure what to make of all this right now. You know what? This sweet ass uh, backyard salad. This is so fake. They have never been out on that deck before. All four of them sitting down for dinner. Never has that happened. Still and working on those that, salads. You must, yeah, still, still mentioned through that. You remember that last episode? You were like, Danielle's really at the bottom. You can tell Danielle's in the bottom of the bowl because yep. now it's like up here. She's trying um, to like get the last little uh, crouton bits and like the last bit of that dressing. You got to get a nice I piece of uh, romaine as a scoop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. as a, It's a sauce delivery apparatus at that oh, point, the lettuce. Yes. Um, I feel like among, like, past what we see here, I feel like their yard is just, like, de- like decimated. There's no actual grass. It's all just, like, clover. And, like, they probably have a dog that just, like, shits everywhere. They never pick it up. Ew, poor <coughs> Nick. You know Nick's not out there in his uh, three-piece suit during his the day suit. tending to the lawn. <laughs> Got reading and learning to do. So busy in there re- mm. parenting. Um. Okay, we're at two o six. What about the dating is is the concern? Because we can only help like fix if we understand like the the root of the issue. She's like the dating part. Um, yeah. <laughs> talking about it can just be challenging for me. Um, and I'm still kind of processing myself. So. Do okay, Nick so. get off her? I know, I don't like it. It, it yeah. seems so predatory. When, oh, wait till you see how Garrick is with Natalia. You're, oh, really? God. Yeah, I texted mm. Jody last night. I was like, Garrick has gone from kind of gleefully, like, dumb to mm-hmm. just, like, sinister. He's, like, sinister in this episode. Like, it's... Ooh. Yeah. He just plays dumb. Like those those no, I dumb, think he dumb. Had grimly eyes, like nah. he dumb, but he's like a fucking man, and it's like Cody Cody Brown is dumb. Ew. He could like like I I'm not turning my back on either of them. All right, we're at two thirty two. With your own insecurities and things like that, that you know, even with Jenny and I, it is at play, you know, and I can be empathetic to the fact that you coming in here most recently. You know, it plays on that insecurity. Yeah. But, like, I I love you, Danielle. Like, you're my family. You are my wife just as much as Jenny. I don't like and April. Weird. This I, oh, I can't be the same. stand April. She scares me. Yeah, there's... She's sinister. She's got 
mean girl manipulative energy. She's got like first wife energy. I would love to see yeah. like other oh, polygamous so families if, if everyone is just if if it genuinely generally goes like that you know on tiktok where it's like i'm the oldest child i'm in charge of everyone oh, yep. they should do a pl- i'm first wife i'm a total bitch i'm a I total abuse controlling all the other- manipulative <laughs> yeah cunt. yeah i abuse all the kids that aren't mine god you're so right that is mary <laughs> mm-hmm. like what no would Chris, care what, about would, uh, you. what would middle i, I wife- know what your problem is I, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> what we're cool here i love I just, you i just say it I just say what I mean. That's just my personality. I can't help it. Uh, Janelle's would be, I'm a second wife. <laughs> well, I, I like to live in a teepee. Or I, li- I like to spend all my time away from the house. Yeah. Yeah. Second wife is kind of like the career one because like the Cody and the Mary were like, oh shit, one of us has to work. Let's get, let's get this new one, this working uh-huh. girl. You know, she's going to come in. She'll help us out. You can watch the kids. She'll go work. And then we'll get a hot wife. And then, okay, so then what's third wife? I'm third wife. I. She's the younger, hotter one. Well, unless she's getting nachos, babe. I mean, the what, sight what's of Robin? this chubby I'm... girl. This with chili cheese nachos everywhere. To say I was disgusted would be an understatement. She must have been hungry because she was sure eating those nachos fast. Um, Robin's would be, I'm fourth wife. And it seems like definitely we should all have been together from the same train. I think fourth wife might be soulmate wife because by fourth wife, you're like, okay, you're exhausted with the first three. The, the third who you thought was going to be like the hot sex pot. Now she's had a kid or two and you're like, ugh, she's not that hot anymore. Fourth one comes in and you're like, oh my God, I, I get away from my three wives and 18 kids. Well, it helps that there was like a 10 year gap in, 15 year gap i think right Mm -hmm. so that probably helps that now this woman is i guess 10 years 10 years younger than the other ones so that kind of probably also helps okay um we're at 302 without you i want to want to raise vera without you vera oh vera's baby's name is vera it's vera but it sounded like Vera. vera yeah i think that's understood um it's just She's like, Sometimes yeah, I get that, but I don't want to date. It's okay. It's okay. I'm looking at you then. It's okay. It's okay. It can just be difficult. Uh-oh. Coming together to do this is really special, but it also comes with a lot of things I'm not used to. There's just a lot with expanding. I think I'm still adjusting to that because... You guys are my first actual relationship. I wasn't just dating here, dating here. You know, I had a few very, very casual relationships. Um, And so I think sometimes I just need to step back and allow myself some more patience and some more grace because I love you guys. I really do. And that's never been in question. And, you know, it hurts me to even think about not being together. It breaks my heart. And so I'm sorry I didn't mean to um, cause any harm or pain or conflict or anything like that. But I think at times I just allow my emotions to kind it of... It was trying to work a few She really is. And you can tell that it's like fake because her face is turning so red because she's Scrunch. trying to... She's pushing so hard to get it out. Forcing it out. Yeah. I need to take more steps to opening up and allowing us to work through them together versus feeling like it's something I handle on my own. Yeah. Because I never want you to have to handle that kind of stuff on your own. Honestly, after spending a few days by myself, it was like the worst few days of my life. Um, And it was really eye-opening and really humbling. And then it just kind of makes you really realize um, who's really there for you, who really loves you. Um, And so after that, it was like... It was so obvious to me. I was like, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else besides with them. You know, it was hard. Oh, it was God, like, you were what? almost out. You were almost out. You had a lease. This makes no sense to me. I feel like anyone, even if you're in an amazing relationship, like just to get two days to yourself yeah, in an apartment. Time. like I mean, I, I think anyone would be like, oh, okay. What I think I bet you happened was they iced her out they're like okay if she's gone we'll just like give her her space we're not gonna text her we're not gonna call her and then she was like i really need them i don't think that's true because when they were when they were like reading their text messages last episode it was like paragraphs after paragraphs back and forth between her and april 
Lots but of then I think, it, mm, yeah, I just think April was sneaky. No, yeah, no, this is all April. April did this. April made this happen. Her coming back. What did I just do? You know what I mean? And it, it was something that I thought I wanted. You know, I just need to be by myself, figure things out, get myself under control, maybe work on this. But dating another woman, you know, it's a little scary. We're not just going to allow anyone to come be a part of our relationship. So why don't you wait? Just gonna... I know you don't have to do this. And also, they're, they're not even doing this for a religious reason. Yeah, just hold on. She's like, I'm just not ready. We just got married, like, whatever, a year ago, if that. And there was a baby born in that time. So, like, I haven't and had a any new house. to just, mm hmm Yeah, slow down. And that He's... bed. Oh, gross. <laughs> it just smells so awful in there. Yeah. That's why we that have a bed adults? as our background, by the way, guys. In case, ah. wait, there's, in case there's no context for that. Oh, I am right on the edge of that bed. Oh, yeah. I'm taking the side under me. Yeah, we're definitely leaving a big space between the two of us because it's hot. Oh, pillow fortress. Oh, yeah. Full, long there's a, a lane of pillows in there. Uh-huh. Uh, 513. Why are someone extremely specific in particular? Just like it was the case with you. You came along and, and you enhanced what we were already doing. And I would never allow anyone to come into this situation and diminish what we've created. You know, Nick's me, not going to allow that, okay, pretend. Amanda? He's got it figured out. Oh, no. no he's, he's not, not going to allow it. He's, he's got his finger on the buzzer here. Wanting someone <laughs> else to come in here, that's just the type of family that we want. We want all the love in the world <laughs> for our family, if you will. Yeah, no. Do you love them? Of course I love them. I love them a lot. <laughs> I mean, more than I've ever loved anyone. I guess that's the scary part about love. <laughs> You're 24. Like, you've never loved anyone like you loved she, I don't get this. This is truly one I just don't understand. Yeah, like, I, I feel, I understand if you're, like, 40 and, like, you've never loved it. But it's, like, you haven't even had, a, like, a chance to love anyone this much. Like, she, she's acting like it's, like, if she doesn't take this opportunity, she'll never be loved again. Or loved right. again. And if they really loved you, they'd be like, okay, we need to slow down. Like, let's yeah. nurture this Danielle's thing that we crying. have right now. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, we don't want to lose her, so let's adjust. Mm -hmm. Those few days without you guys was like the worst days of my life. Um, I don't even want to talk about it too much because it was just really hard on me. And I know it was really hard on you guys. I love Danielle very much, but I just didn't see this coming at all to begin with. So now I'm kind of up in the air with what I think could potentially happen. So he's weighing his options. If we find someone hotter, Danielle's out again. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, the Sherwood family. Family. Oh. Okay, we're, we're like in shame. Yeah, he's actually really cute in this episode. Corey and Carly don't like him. Or they, don't, they don't trust weird. him yet. It, it, yes, I was going to say, like, he almost seems too normal and too nice to be into this, which, right. so something is off. Something's disingenuous with him. Okay, we'll see. But I feel like maybe, well, Colton, there was one nice guy on one of these shows. Oh, okay. Winder. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel like she rules the roost. She wears the pants in this relationship, if you will. And he's got like a little Stockholm syndrome sort of thing going I think, on. I think he also wants his wants to watch his wife like uh, going down another woman. I think that's like a big part of this. I, I I think it's ridiculous she's starting to date someone at nine months pregnant. Yeah, I was gonna say, how is she even gonna like go down on a woman? How's a woman gonna go down on her? It's gonna yeah, be a she can't, meat well, she can't lay there. flat on her back. She's got to be like propped up, or she's gonna pass out. What? So when you're pregnant, you can't lay flat. Oh, on your stomach? No, on your back. Well, or your stomach. Really? Yeah, because there's like a, what do they call it? Like the vena something. Like the weight of your stomach, like it, it presses on like a nerve or something. Oh. It's happened to me, like when I was getting an ultrasound. Like that's why they, they kind of prop you up because like you'll just start feeling like kind of fainty, whatever. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we're, we're at some crazy positions, I guess. Okay. Grace and I decided to just not see each other again. Yeah, uh, she's in the waddle stage of pregnancy. This <laughs> isn't cute. I 
me. Start fresh. Sarah? Hi. Hi. How are you? Sarah is someone that I met on social media. We haven't talked very much yet. I'm hoping that we have good chemistry, and I'm excited to meet her. Oh, you know, I brought you, yeah, it is. I brought you some food. Oh, so have, like, a is this wine? a weird fetish? Like a what? fighting pregnancy fetish? I mean, there's definitely, like, pregnancy fetishes. Um, is there? Yeah, there's, like, breastfeeding. Like, the again... Once I haven't watched porn in forever, but like when you when you get on like a trajectory of porn, you can you're just clicking on stuff. I've seen some weird shit, but um, you know what I always imagine breast um, breast milk to taste like. I've never tasted it, but I in my head, I feel like it would taste like butternut squash soup. You know, it's funny because on Friends they they talk about that, and um, mm -hmm. Ross is like, I don't even know what breast milk would taste like, and then Susan Carol Carol's wife goes, it cantaloupe juice. Oh, and Ross, okay. is like, you've tasted it. Oh, you've you've tried it. You've tried it. If I if I I would totally taste it. Okay, I mean, I guess, yeah, I don't know. I just never tasted mine. I mean, I guess and I didn't breastfeed that long. So okay, okay. Anyway, but cantaloupe juice. But I feel like that's the same vein right there. Yeah, I'm, not, I, I'm just picturing Gordon. Janelle with her butternut squash soup as Mary's like, <laughs> don't be surprised because we come up just like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Robin is just like. And like unscrews the salt and just like uh, dumps the entire thing into her soup, and then takes a sip of her um sage and rosemary infused, infused water. Water, gross. still, I still blows my mind. Oh, and then and then Cody's water is just cloudy. Oh They're like, we have to throw this glass away because all of the little. I, I'm feeling the lemon, like the acidity on my teeth. Like his enamel is just oh gotta God. be stripped. Cody definitely has halitosis because like lemon breath after a couple hours after it's been kind of congealing mm. and just like setting in your hot mouth. Oh, he definitely has got the toast. Ugh, oh, gross. Yeah. I feel like he chain smokes too because he's so stressed <laughs> out, but he like secretly smokes. Like he just like, or he dip. goes outside and goes. And does I bet you he dips. Entire... I think he like, because he thinks it looks manly to like, how oh. Oh, because I bet Caleb. Oh, Caleb Rush. Caleb Brush. Oh, Caleb <laughs> God, we miss it. We we miss it. Oh, no, God. I kind of hope this show gets bad soon so that we can just go back to Sister Life. <sighs> we gotta go down back to Brown Town. Brown yeah. Town. We gotta okay, go all go. the way down to Brown Town. <laughs> I love that. We're at seven oh nine. Hmm, what a great date. Let's go sit soup? in soup. Yeah, let's go sit by the water with the rabid ducks, the yeah. feral ducks, and eat soup. And it's hot out. They're wearing sun, bench. strappy sundresses and yeah. soup. There's just bird shit all around. But sure, let me eat some warm soup. God, gross. Oh, this is weird. She seems like young, spirited, and um, fun, and seems like we have a lot of things in common. Did you get a lobster roll? I did. I'm so jealous. What? Yeah, oh. I, uh, uh, yeah, I am a lobster. I like crab better. Definitely. I oh, did live in Maryland. Do you like for seafood? Yeah. Is this what we're getting so, at? <laughs> <laughs> like, what oh, are you talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my heart just... Blue crab. Like, like how we draw D. Oh, God. Someone posted that on our Facebook group. Join our Facebook group, guys. Uh, love to hate TV. Even if you don't know the answers, just answer whatever. Um, Somebody posted that screenshot I sent you of Howie. Like, that, that the bitch is going away to cheer camp. What's she going to do if Howie starts molting? I hope Howie just bites the dust. I don't and want just... Howie to die alone while the bitch is at cheer camp. Howie's never been happier. It's quiet. <laughs> There's not a camera and like ring light in a jostled shape. around and like a sombrero <laughs> and a Mari, you know, like a little, uh, what am I thinking of? What's this thing called? Maraca. Yeah, Maraca. And it's Maraca. God. Well, um, the woman's like, uh, she said one time, like, somebody asked me, um, how do I make the hat stay on Howie's head? And she's like, oh, I just use a duct tape. Oh my, I thought she was going to say rubber band, but duct tape is worse. I know. She just like. <laughs> she Imagine that thing right coming off of it. Oh God, your door is opening. There's a ghost behind it's you, Latrice. babe. It's Latrice. It's tree. It's Latrice. Oh. Same, same. Oh, okay. Her hair is standing up on the back. She's arched. And my mic was ready to fight. All right, let's go back. Um, Here we are. Uh, Lost Speaking rolls. of P words, am I right? You're, you're, you're disgusting. I'm not a roll. I'm not a lobster roll. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest lunch ever. Soup and lobster. 
Mm. This might be Gross. the one thing that gives me diarrhea on a hot like, day. And lobster rolls, you you have to either eat like hot or really cold. But but like oh. we've walked now from the car. There's no parking lot in sight, so this is a, probably an eight minute walk from the car to whatever. And is this there. mayo based? Is a lobster yeah, mayo roll mayo? Based. So like it's a lukewarm lobster and a lukewarm soup. Yeah. Mm. But this girl had a TV show, so... Yeah, this is so weird. I don't get this. I like this girl, though. She's cute, and she seems, like, pretty normal. Yeah. It, it just seems weird to me normal. that this never came up in their years. They're, like, high school sweethearts. They And now is when they choose to do this, when she has a 14-month-old and she's pregnant. Oh, did this she have, also have a 14-month-old? Not the girlfriend, Ashley. They have oh, oh Ashley, yes, that's right. I was, they never show him, which is good. No. Um, did you watch Quiet on Set, by the way? No, not yet. Oh, it's good. And I didn't want to watch it, but I was like, this is nuts. Is I, it... never had, I never had Nickelodeon, so I was like... Like child like... essay stuff kind of weird. It's not out. so much that. The shocking stuff was seeing what was actually aired on television and just us oh. as kids like had no, like, no idea. But like a lot of phallic stuff. Like Ariana Grande, like jacking off potato. What? And like pouring like a lot of cum shots on the on the kids. Ew. Like, oh my lotion exploded. Let's splat it on uh Amanda Bynes' face. Oh well people love that. I mean, who doesn't love a you know a cum shot? Yeah. It right yeah. in the face. Right oh in my, my eyes. god, it's so hot. Mm, <laughs> yeah, my eyes are just running for like the next two hours. I don't know if that's ever happened Ooh. to me. I'm at 803. <laughs> I like both men and women. I think that Ashley is a mom, so she kind of understands a little bit about my life, and we have that in common. I think the pregnancy aspect of it is a little bit more different. You guys seem to have, like, a very active lifestyle as far as, like, hobbies and stuff. Yeah, we try. We used to be big into competitive axe throwing. Like, oh, my God. We would be axe throwing right now. And Actually, we, we have axe throwing leagues every Wednesday right now. <laughs> Oh, so we off, um, it feels like we have really natural conversation. She's gorgeous. She's just as attractive as she is in her pictures online. Compared to Grace, this is like way more relaxed. I feel very natural and comfortable. Yeah, because Grace was a bitch, and this girl's fine. Yeah. Like, yeah, fine. They keep showing like moments of like '90s rom com shit. Like their their feet are kind of near each other, and, and they're, they're almost wearing thing. the same shoes. Yeah, they kind of are these wedges. Ugh, I can never, I can never do it. I wore, um, I wore like little heels to the show with Justine and my dad, and I was like, "Yeah, I look fucking cute." And then I'm just walking up to the restaurant, I'm like, your feet don't actually leave the ground; you just shuffle. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I you you like to... sit on the stairs and scoot yourself up, like you're just going up backwards. So you don't actually don't. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> Uh, 852. So tell me what you're looking for in like a partner in life or like kind of dating right now or like what you're searching for. I've always been open to like being in more open relationship. I've gone on to dates with like couples before and like, you know, try different things as far as dating. This is so awkward. The most attractive quality a person can have, the sexiest thing a person can do is be kind. No, that's incorrect. It's oh, okay, be, Meghan funny. Markle. Yeah, right. It's funny. That's obviously the most important. But is he kind? Okay. Oh, All but right. is he kind? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Well, this bitch is definitely not kind. She has sprung this shit on her husband. And he's like, oh, okay, I guess. Mm. I mean, I guess that's what you like. Um, okay. That is ultimately what is going to be the end-all, end be-all, so to speak. Yeah, uh, not gonna lie, I had like real goosebumps and got like got lost in you saying over kind? Over yeah. 
over. I'd like someone who was who, who didn't like treat me like dogs. Yeah, shit. they're generally Ooh. just kind. Goosebumps all up and down my body. Like a serial killer can be kind at times. They usually are. Oh, oh, the most kind, actually. Yeah, you're right. They're yeah. like sociopaths. Yeah. Uh, we're at 9.30. But they don't have a mucus <laughs> plug, so there's that. <laughs> what? But they don't have a mucus plug. What, it, what? What? What does that mean? Oh, that's a pregnancy thing. Oh. Like when you get close to like actually like going into labor, some women will have like their mucus plug fall out. You would probably love it. You would like dissect it, I feel like. You'd be like, oh, Like out yeah. of your vagina? Uh-huh. Oh, so it's like when a when a blood clot falls out during your period. Yeah, so I never, never I you. never yeah, had. Yeah, of course, mine. I I assumed. No, but like some, no, like you want it to happen because then you're like, oh, okay, I'm probably gonna start going into labor like in the next like week or so. Oh, but I but never... it's different than your water breaking. Does your water breaking yes. not feel like anything? You it just water falls out. I never had my naturally break. They had to like, they like go in with like a crochet the hook and needs they like to be tested. <laughs> no. Well, I was induced with all of mine, but like it does oh. like they'll like like break it but it i mean it feels like you are just a nice warm pee like you're just peeing yourself and you have like, no control over it like a queef um you just have to let it happen of course you've also never just peed, so. picture like a gallon of milk just like you know but warm like a nice nice uh -huh. warm mm, yep. that sounds great uh yeah. 9 35. what are your stages to like dating and like the relationship developing. Oh, so that's a, that's a solid question. Getting to a point where you and I are comfortable in our relationship and all three of us being together. Shane and I are legally married. Um, obviously, two legal marriages anywhere is not legal. Right. Um, but I very much see a emotionally, spiritually, everything bounding ceremony where it's a marriage. At times, I almost had to convince grace to consider being okay with this relationship dynamic oh well where... guess what she wasn't okay with it because she was a total cunt to your husband the second she met him yeah ashley was not forthright with that like she's she talking wanted... lots of shit on grace in this episode too by the way yeah she is she wanted <laughs> yeah, to get it in it. and then Ew. she was done with it and then she ordered that like vegan non-soy non-dairy salad and then she didn't even eat it because it was disgusting yeah because it was just a bunch of lettuce on a plate with like <sighs> lemon juice. I wonder if she Sarah brought it like, home. Are you coming into it very open-minded? How open are you to meeting Shane kind of in like the near issue? Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 like, I'm open to it. Okay. I've had other experiences with couples as far as like going on dates with just a girl. That's a little bit new to me, but I'm pretty down to try anything like in that realm. Give the good old college try. <laughs> that's typically what I usually do anyway. So, meeting everyone at once. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, that's fine. <laughs> I, I love that. Yeah. She told me she's open to meeting Shane soon, which is really big. I mean, I am a package deal. I come with Shane. Shane is a part of my life. Shane will be a part of this woman's life, whoever she is. Are you ready to head out? Yeah, I had a great time, and I, I look Likewise. forward to seeing you again. Yes, for sure. Um, let me just grab. That was the date. Just basically a job interview over soup and lobster rolls. Yeah, she's just in this for free food or something. And the way Man. she talks about Shane is like Shane is an item. Like, or like he's part of almost, my life. He's in it. Like a burden. Yeah, just like well, an accessory. just have to accept. Yeah, you're part of the he's part of the package. Uh, yeah, we're at eleven oh two. My stuff. Yeah, that's what I was, that's where I was kind of going with that. Like, like, let me see each other again. My gut feeling about Sarah is that she could be a good fit. I definitely feel like there's spark in sexual attraction. It's like, oh, this is like a, this is what it's supposed to be when you're attracted really? to someone. <laughs> Just enough, enough, another shot fired at Grace there again. She's, she, she's pissed. Uh -huh. I think she can't get over it. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm eleven seventeen. She definitely still right, well, looks nice. Are they gonna kiss? Yes. Yes. Do you mind if I kiss you? I don't like that, babe. It made me uncomfortable. No, I don't like it. And not because it's two girls. It's because it's Ashley. Yeah, and she's pregnant. Nine months pregnant. Oh, it was just so awkward. I'm parked this way, and then we'll go this way, and then I'll go that way. Oh, so weird. That was awkward. She had a lot of questions. Okay, let's go ahead. I don't I don't like this culty. Thing. All right, we're at um 1206. The Ryan family. Mm, Ryan, Becky, and Justin. So you're at 
36,000. It's only gone up another thousand. It's only been a month, so. Mm -hmm. I have a preventative health care business where I can scan people and let you know what your antioxidant level is in your body. Okay. You're actually ready for a rescan. I'm in construction. I do remodeling, painting, drywall. Yep. Right there. Flex. This machine reminds me of um, with a single drop of blood. With a and single I feel drop like... of blood. Yeah. Um, this is, is this like a um, like the cans in Scientology? Oh yeah, the rods. Mm -hmm. It's rods. This they, is uh, weird. This they went be like to um, LM thing. they went to a Scientology brunch on Doughboys because they did <gasps> a like a religious month like a few years Ooh. ago, and they went to a Scientology brunch. But like they they put it like behind a paywall, obviously, and they don't put okay. it in the title, and they really talk around it, and you can tell that they're kind of terrified talking about it. The How was it? It, was, it seemed really interesting, actually. And the girl that they went with is an ex Scientologist, and she's like, it was actually really nice to like be back in the church, and she's like. Um, and all of them were like, honestly, like everyone seemed super nice. I, they were all, they all agreed that it's, it would be very easy to be convinced sure. the way, especially if you're like going through a hard time or something. Yeah. You're like, okay, it's not that bad. What everyone says. It's like that episode of, um, uh, Boy Meets World we just covered. Oh, right. I belong. Yeah. yeah. I'm centered. I am centered. Mm -hmm. Um, 1237. Oh, Justin has totally bought into this program with me. Oh, sure he has. Like he saw yeah. his score go up and he was like, okay, I gotta keep taking the supplements. Oh, yay. So I'm gonna go estimate this job. How far away is it? 20 minutes away. Are you gonna be back in time for us to go out? Yeah. We've been seeking a sister wife for easily 20 years. Hi. Is there any? Yes. Yesterday, we ran into somebody, Desiree, who's super gorgeous, and uh, we're we're super excited about her. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow night. God, he's such a loser. He's <laughs> got <laughs> no personality. No. Definition of 40s man. And he's such a mouth breather. Oh, his like big old lips. Of... Yeah. He's like big feminine <gasps> lips. Um, I'm at 1322. It feels like it could be a pretty amazing start to a new journey. Something wrong with her. <laughs> oh, if you if you look at our Facebook group, people are posting articles like every day about uh what's the guy's name? Tony Alamo. Tony Alamo. Mm. 1320. Ooh, they're gonna get cultural at a boba tea shop. <laughs> Okay, I think we'll have to a little bit because we actually had a little success so adventurous. last night. So we're more just wanting to get past that first meet, past that next date, on to like actually doing stuff together. Uh, hey, what's her name? <laughs> Becky? Hey, sure. Becky, you want some tea with that half and half and caramel? <laughs> I think that was whipped cream, wasn't it? I, that looked like just, just a cup of whipped cream with caramel. I just see it. caramel dripping down the sides and like a very thick. Oh, they did that thing where they put the caramel in the, around the cup they drizzled. The first. And but then that just... is like whipping cream. I don't even think that's whipped. It's just that thick whipping cream Heavy they just cream. poured yeah. in there. <laughs> oh. Now you are. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm semi butterflies. Uh, this beautiful girl is going to talk to us again. Also, well, it went so well last night. So, from, from wait, is the date here at the boba tea shop? That yes, they're wait. They don't don't you wait to order with the person? You don't just get yeah. your own shit. They're going to be and why are there teddy you? bears everywhere? <sighs> I don't like this. Oh, yeah, there's like teddy bears on the table. Okay. Should I text her and just see if, you know, nope. double check if she's coming or not? Oh, no, it's not even two. Oh, it's just not 201. So. Oh, okay. so They're going to text her at 201 a minute <laughs> are past. Where are you? <laughs> you know, uh, any man or couple would want. I'm sure we could find, you know, someone that would be willing to do a, a one night stand or something. But, Ew. You know, we're, we're not after that, so. Sure. We're looking for a long term relationship, a real life partner. Ew, what's he doing with that straw, babe? I don't like it. I do that. You don't do that? Just like up and well, down, yeah, up and down. But you're not a 40-year-old man. I'm a 40-year-old woman. Like, I don't know, thrusting this straw in and out. <laughs> Ew. 
<laughs> oh my like god, it. I just choked on my own breathing. I don't even know what it's drives. Awkward. <laughs> this is funny. Oh god. Care to share with the group? She thinks she's chickening out. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I appreciate the offer and everything. Ooh. I just the have offer. to protect my family in this. I just can't take that chance. I'm sorry. This guy is the worst. This guy is like a 10 year old reading at church. Yeah, I was going to say, can he read? <laughs> No, but you know what I think he's doing? I think that it says a lot more in the message. So he's like editing as he goes. Uh -huh. also, She's I like think... the thought of those big <laughs> lips. The say I am disgusted would be an understatement. I think what she's saying here is like, she doesn't want this to be on TV. I think that's the main uh, yeah. part of it. It's it was like, like, okay, I showed up at the bar that night. I thought like, oh, this be fun. But now that I'm thinking about like my ex-husband might be after me because I got kids and like people are going to think I'm serious about this. <laughs> she texts them at 201. Savage. Yeah, I'd rather not go on a 2 p.m. date at the Boba Tea Shop. The, with teddy bears. With teddy bears akimbo. Right? Now, remember how I was supposed to go on that date like a few months ago? I do. And I, yes. I did this exact same thing. <gasps> But when you were supposed to be meeting, you waited? It was like, I would have had to have already left. And I was like, I can't do it. Sorry. And then I, um, and and I, got, rid of, I got rid of Tinder. I was like, I do not want to do this. Um, Is my mic on? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? It's a hot mic. All right. All right. Fine. Whatever. Jane, strike that. <laughs> right. I want to feel heard. I just want to know that I'm heard. I'm at 1546 again to go back on things but i hope you guys do find someone truly interested truly interested so, how are you gonna reply um i don't know i completely understand you know how you reply to a message like that thumbs up like yeah, i was just gonna say or leave message. it like got it you leave it they they can see when if it if it says red yeah or like okay thanks for letting me know wish you the best or if you want to be a it. dick you can like you could write for a little bit and then just leave the dots <gasps> going for forever. <laughs> so the person's like, what are they saying? Oh, um, that's harsh. That's fun too. I'm at a 16 minute. Uh, you, you ready to get out of here? No, no, are you? <laughs> I mean, oh, you want to hang out here at the scene of the crime? It's like, well, I don't want to like go on a date with you. No, Let's no, no, leave. No, I'll, I'll reply later. Here's another girl that <gasps> is gung ho about wanting to, to meet us. She was not gung ho. <laughs> Gung ho, you guys stalked her. She had no choice. That was her way of getting you out of her little area at the bar. It's very sad, and uh, you know, we just have to think positive. I don't know, it just reminded me of what uh, Stephanie said. She was like, I feel like I'm coming out as gay in the 1950s. I've never heard her say that. Yeah, she told me that. Desiree has the same kind of excuse we've always heard. When we were with Stephanie, she had the same problems with it. It's very confusing. Almost like polygamy is a broken system that doesn't work. Yeah, or it's almost like these people don't like you. Like, that's just what it is. Yeah. If they liked you, they would. They just don't like you. Yeah, for, like, I would, these two people would have to be the coolest people I've ever met in my entire life for me to even consider this. Yeah, being with them would be a job because you know you would constantly be on. You be the one facilitating conversations. You be the one entertaining them. You be the one telling the jokes and, like, keeping things going. Well, another part of it is that we all know how girl groups are. Like, even, like, when everyone is actually, like, really good friends. Like, yep. girls are, ter they're manipulative with each other. They're jealous mm. of each other. They're competitive like you just can't put that dynamic in this yeah um no but if if but if cody had a sister a brother husband they'd play video oh, games all day and wow. slap each other's yeah. back <laughs> guns Gosh. uh 1655 and we just keep hoping that maybe one day she'll you know see the light and come back sure 
Dang, we got all dressed up and everything. That's you dressed up? It's a little bummer. But, you know, I've trained myself to... Normally when I dress up, I take a shower and wash my hair. (laughs) Run a comb through it? Yeah. Like, let's do something here. That, um, (laughs) that hair is thirsty. It's dry. Uh, At the bottom, but it looks a little greasy on top. Which, like, I mean, I get it. My hair can kind of do the same thing, but do something with it. Also... Now she's cracking open a can of something right after that boba tea. And look at the counter behind her. Do you have any I'm drawers? I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a screenshot of him taking a drink out of a can. Okay. 1722. What's behind it? Okay. Like, every Whoa! knife, fork, spatula, spoon, measuring spoon, everything's on the counter. That would drive me nuts. No, that's... Oh, my gosh. that That is... That's clutter. 1723. You miss them, right? Yeah. It's an emotional roller coaster. The lifestyle and the search and the some of the frustrations of it. There is somebody out there for us. I do believe that. So I think that's what keeps us going. Um, I have faith in that. Right now. Um, okay, so it's 245 now on the clock as they just walked in. So their date must have been at like one. Yeah. Oh no, they zoomed out of there. Oh no, wait, it was at two. They said it was, was two, two o'clock. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Um, 1739. What's with this music? Why is this like corny music? Love the ones we have. I've got Becky. She works hard. She plays hard. Oh, yeah. Sucks a mean dick. Like, what is going on here? Gross. Becky looks like the kind of girl that plays hard, whatever that means. Ah, uh huh. uh -huh. (laughs) Wow. Real rebel. She gives 100%. (laughs) Ew, they are. Yeah, they're going into the foot. Like, gross. The Murrafels, oh god, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. (laughs) Garrick speaking Spanish, it says. Okay, you didn't need to you didn't need to caption that when he just goes, Bonitos! Garrick speaking Spanish. Oh, here he is in his toy tank top again. Nipples up Kimbo. God, size up. Also, the mother. I feel like they didn't want to have to pay her for actual dialogue, so she's silent. Yeah, she's a two and under she's or whatever. She's kind just... of there. Yeah. Yeah. Five and under, I think. Uh, 1807. It's our second day here in Mexico, and we had a fun-ish night last night at the Cenote. As far really? as, like, Natalia and I were looking forward to kind of moving forward and getting to know each other better and seeing where things go. Bring in the kitchen. <laughs> So you, and your sister so you and your are going to go look for a chef wife from France. What? I don't think you need to run after another French wife. Immediately, you can continue to buy food every day. Did you see that whole time Garrick was doing like the fingertips on her arm up and down? Yeah, if that was a mom, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, gross. That's my daughter. Also, basically, what she just said was like, I don't like that story, babe. Like when he's like, oh, you guys are going to go get like a French wife who can cook. And she's like, or you can go buy food at the store. She's shooting him down. And he's such a dum-dum that he's like, oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm, yeah. yeah. I heard the wife got went to the grocery store to get French food. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play this next clip. I need to stop my camera because I'm going to blow my nose. And I'm okay. going to be watching it. But. Get over Bert. Well, she she missed Bert. She missed Bert. Mm. So, you know, Garrett's gonna propose, and oh god, I'm gonna give her a sister necklace, and <laughs> you know, I really took all those things, but never really followed through with any of it. You're scared how much people can hurt you. We're getting ready for breakfast. Natalia asked me if we could kind of sit down and just have a one-on-one chat. I'm surprised. I think she is sensing my feelings in this moment. 
but that scares me at the same time because I feel like it's going to irritate Garrick because I feel like he's wanting to move forward. But I'm not feeling fully ready. It's not right yet. Um, <laughs> I was just going to ask you that. Mas eu entendo que eles querem, assim, de certa forma, seguir com um pouco de rapidez, porque o processo de filha por assim de um outro país que se já demora. She's just saying it takes some time to like get used to it. And I asked him to leave for a bit because I wanted to talk to Danny about whether she's really okay with this lifestyle. All right, they have a whole back and forth, so you're gonna have to just be ready. With okay, them. because sometimes I feel that she's not doing very well. How are you feeling about everything so far? Do you have doubts about me being oh, the right me. person or do you have doubts about really being this lifestyle you want to live? I think the doubts come into play because Roberta was a part of my life for three and a half years. So after the breakup with Roberta, it was hard. I still wonder if you're really over a jealousy and I want to know how you feel seeing my closeness with Garrett these days. Yeah, the sparks are really flying. Oh my god, I know. Get a room. I'm just feeling nervous and afraid. It's a big step to move forward. And it's a big decision to make to join our family with children. I want to make sure that this is something you could see yourself committing to for the rest of your life. That's not a problem for me. I'm in love with Garrett. I love sure. how, how the voice and the phone is kind of matching her face. That's not a problem for me. I'm totally in love with Garrett. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is really what you want because it also has a big impact on my life. I'm going to have to make a big change to live. Looks like she's been crying all night. <laughs> Who? Danielle? Den and no. Danielle? No, oh, too. Yeah. Like she just has like very like. I want you to understand that I think oh, that we're all going to be making sacrifices. Well, Garrick is in. I think we'll have struggles. Yeah. We'll have to work through things. What's going on? <laughs> like, this, he, he seems sinister here because you're going to see he comes in and, like, he starts getting pissed at Danielle. And, and they both seem, like, scared of him. So what did I just stumble into here? What's going on? Does he have an, um, an amulet? On his no, neck. no, it's his um, it's his shirt. There's a little leather like thing at the bottom of the buttons. <sighs> of course, of course she there is. Says that I'm not happy. I don't feel like, what? safe being in a polygamous relationship, knowing that you still feel afraid. <gasps> so it's Danielle's afraid. fault. No. Yeah, so Garrett just you told her you're afraid. afraid? Yeah, that it's gonna the same thing's gonna I happen. I told with you Earth that with Bert. Exactly. I cried like Tanya Harding on national TV. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Nancy Kerrigan. No, what Tan did I say? Oh, oh. You said Tanya. Tanya's Sorry, not babe. crying for anyone. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to talk about Mrs. Galuli. If you know, you know. <laughs> What? I'm like nervous, but if the camera crew wasn't here, I feel like he'd punch her. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just so confused. I'm a little boy. I don't know. So I just am so Did confused. Because he's because because he he wants to scream at yep. Danielle, but he also has to act like a like he's cool for uh -huh. Natalia. He he's acting like a Robin. Like I'm just confused. I don't know. I, just, well, I never. I that's a lie. This came from. I don't know. Twenty two thirty six. Conversation. So it's not like you said. Wow. So you ruin this, Danielle? Oh, uh, yeah. If Natalia is exactly Roberta, she's yeah. just, just less, less good at this. I've never had that feeling before. So maybe you're not ready for this. And that 
was devastating. I just, like, it was so hard for me to divorce Derek. Oof. And I did it because I trusted that she loved me and that, like, she cared about me and that she wouldn't hurt me. And she did. <laughs> But she was also well, probably telling you guys in between, like, I'm not comfortable with this. And like, what I, they didn't I read the signs though, too. Like she had COVID in quotes and like was in the mountains. Her mom had reception. a blood pressure appointment, whatever that is. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Come on. She also, was trying to blow you guys off in every way. Yeah, she couldn't have made it more obvious. And Garrick, um, if Garrick really loved you, Danielle, he would have gotten remarried again. Right. But clearly, he wants right. to keep this open to bring over some other like Can uh, Canadian, that was good. yeah, uh, Brazilian, uh, 2333. Yep. She's fine. She's, She's feeling sad. 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 Yeah. She's like, sad, sad, crying. Sad. Do you get it? Garrick. She's sad, Garrick, yes. Um, 2343. Are you feeling sad right now? Yeah. I mean, at this moment, I'm I'm torn because... He's pissed at her. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a black tank top. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Alberta, but yet, at the same time, I really feel like God promised our family uh, more than just Danielle. I mean, wow. I mean, a vision years ago that I had five wives and they were good. Yeah, this is making me. Oh too well, obviously. Amanda, back. we we didn't know that. We didn't know that he had a dream one time. <gasps> yeah, he had five what That explain. Well, okay, <laughs> take everything back. Obviously, if Gary got a dream, I've had some to fucked up dreams, and I'm not like, okay, that's what that, uh -huh. I need to do. That that that, yep. that was a sign. Mm -hmm. I propose here soon, and um. I'm not knowing what to do at the moment. Don't propose. I think you need more time to move forward with this relationship so that Donnie can feel more comfortable and Donnie. free from all this fear. You understand, Donald? Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's normal for her <gasps> to have to go through a time period. I was telling her how God. It's a new relationship. Who's locker? Because fear is never from God. And so you'll lose out on your blessing if you live in fear. What? That is so manipulative. It was little dick is crushed in those <sighs> tight khakis. They did like a kind of a... Ew. Ew. Uh, a 2457. You told me that God spoke to you, but I don't think God would like to see Donnie unhappy. Ooh. <sighs> I don't think Danielle's unhappy. Just I don't think Danielle is unhappy. Just certain Just moments. Just certain <gasps> Can you, even, even yeah, the, even the voice thing was, could you give us a minute? <laughs> and then he walks away. I just don't know what the heck's going on. Wow. He said, heck. Uh, he does not like this. No, the men don't, don't like when the, when the wives cunt. like hang out alone. All right, I'm at a 2550. We're at Ashley and Shane. Yeah. I like this chick. That kiss was not as passionate as it was with so Liz or whatever her name was. Like chemistry and Good conversation and good weather. Awesome. Yeah, great. yeah, I can tell a smile on your body. I mean, it must have gotten really good. Superficial small talk and then got into some more like higher quality, mm -hmm. high value conversation. What was the high value conversation? Because I didn't hear any. Soup? Soup? You want soup yeah. or lobster? Yeah. Yeah. I've got the names. Roll soup. Yeah, I just kind of tossed that out there aside. Yeah, exactly. I can't tell you how, how relieved I am. I feel like he genuinely is like happy for her. Like I, yeah, I think it makes him. his life easier. I, I, sure. I think it's Stockholm syndrome. He's like she's been talking about this for a long time. Because because if she's happy, then she's gonna be happier, and then it's gonna make our life yeah, easier. She'll, she'll be less of a bitch around the house. Uh -huh. 
her to hear uh, that Sarah would be okay with meeting me because it doesn't put any red flags in my mind like Grace did. It's exciting for me. You haven't met her yet. She knows that I'm an integral part of Ashley's well, life. Well, he knows that she isn't Grace, so she already has got a few points. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then we kiss. What? <laughs> and then we kiss. Ew, kiss. Oh, he got yeah, horny. You kissed her. I did. I am a little surprised that she made the first move only because she was so reluctant with Grace. But again, I think that goes back to she felt like she was walking on eggshells with Grace and like needed to protect her. But I definitely yeah. you start taking a relationship, should, you should feel it. And she obviously felt it. I mean, she looks like this, right? He's like, he's like, can I, is this interview done? Because I need to jerk off really quickly. He's like so excited about this. Yeah. Also, how many chairs does this family own? Look behind him. I count one, two, three. Is this all four, their five, property? Six, like, do seven, they have a eight, pool house? Yes. Oh. Yes. Chairs Look everywhere. There's no way they have that many friends. Well, that girl last week that looked like Erica, that was way out of his league. Mm, true. Um, Boobs. 2720. Yeah, and Boobs. I didn't realize she looked just the same just okay. before this, so that was a plus. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also had more deep conversations about, like, how relationships work with this kind of dynamic and what's some, some like core values things that are important to both of us um how did she feel about you being pregnant now um she didn't seem to have any hesitation about it or anything she she was just you know, like she asked about the pregnancy as far as like how i'm feeling how it's going yeah. she's been through it so i think that's important something that i didn't necessarily think was important before as far as seeking someone um, is having someone if they're okay with your thin. pregnancy but also he's he's, he's like so would uh, what would she think about the pregnancy and she's like oh she seemed fine with it i'm like okay but if somebody is just like yeah that's fine that that, that seems like a red flag to me because if if what? you're dating someone who is nine months pregnant you should be like that's a conversation you need to have here because you right. can't have it casual now and it's not about you being pregnant i think it would be more like is she okay that you're going to have a new baby soon? Like, we're going to have a newborn together soon. What a horrible dynamic to enter a relationship. A 14-month-old like... and a newborn. Like, I lived that. My kids are 13 months apart, Ooh, and there's gosh. no time for anything. Can you imagine starting a new relationship God, no. at that time? No. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. We're at 2757. You have a hard out, right? Like, um, can you go, yeah. like, 10 minutes over? Or no? Um... Off to speed, but we can do it. Let's do we'll, this. We'll blast Having up. a child and being pregnant, it is very important for the women who we bring into our lives to have experience with children and be comfortable with our preferences and how we raise Sai and the baby. She's actually been like in non traditional relationships before, so she's already kind of open to the concept. Um, I don't have to like convince her that it's an okay thing, which is fabulous. Okay, well that's her exactly. exactly. right. we're, we're good. To what just was like the have the same energy, and I didn't feel like I would be like judge. So, so did you guys make a second date? She's going to her family's in Florida next week. It's oh, so, like we sure made a, an agreement that there's going to be a second date. I'm proud of you. That's great. I didn't feel like I was walking on eggshells the whole time. That's awesome. If Ashley did start to pull away from me and I, I felt threatened in any way, I would tell her how I might be feeling alienated. You know, hopefully she'll be understanding, but there's there's always a risk. I mean, there's a risk of the unknown always. Babies. They have four big dogs. Jeez. God. And two babies. Uh, all right, the Murfeld. <gasps> Cancun, Mexico. You really want the lifestyle or something you're doing just because Garrett wants to. Ooh. No, I'm not doing this just because of Garrick. Mm -hmm. I know 100% God did this in our life. I was the one that suggested living this way to Garrick. Yeah, that's what he makes you, that's what he's convinced right. you of. This was your idea, remember, Daniel? And she's like, oh, yeah, I guess. I know that God wanted it. He had continually brought it up throughout our lives. She understands it more as a calling from God for her life. But I think even if it's a call from God, I don't know if God wants her to be as sad as she is. I am not Roberta. I am a different person. And unfortunately, I can't do anything about that, you know. They have to be able to overcome this situation. I can't suffer the consequences for something I didn't do another relationship but i do feel we have to walk forward in faith i feel like god brought you into our life 
and that you're supposed to be a wife and that what? God told that to Garrick and I <laughs> and we have to trust that's so to creepy and look to what God has in our future and our life together as a family I became worried because at first everything seemed fine. Danny seemed very sure of everything that was happening, but I found it very strange. I didn't understand it when she started talking about being afraid. I knew that she had felt a little bad about everything that happened with Roberta, but to me, that was something that had stayed in the past. And she told me this months ago, and I never, and ne then never mentioned it again. Dude, that was like doing like a news re so was real reading. That was like really fast. <laughs> it's like a teleprompter. It was I was really like getting fast stressed like, out as you were reading that. All right. Um, okay, we're we're sitting down to. Okay, if I'm on vacation, I don't want a plate of cucumbers and tomatoes and four yeah. chicken wings and rice. We're yeah. going to a resort every fucking meal. We're yeah. not home cooking something. Yeah, like, mom basically was brought along to be the cook. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. And now that we're together, after that connection, I became a little worried about whether she'll be able to get over everything that happened with Roberta. We had a good talk. Okay, so now Danielle and Garrett are talking in the bedroom, and he, she's trying to uh, put out the flames of his rage right now. Yep. Yeah, struggles, and, you know, she this is all different for her. Like she was never experienced this before. She's only 25, but like she definitely Ugh. really wants What is he to holding in that bag? bag? Is that like a bag full of yeah. like protein yeah, supplements? You know, when Probably. Danielle said she was afraid, um, immediately I thought, oh great, this is not a good situation because it don't seem like they're on the same page. Like is something wrong? Is there a problem? I'm a little <sighs> uneasy about this. God. This is that Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> yeah. And it's just I so drive scary. a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> the whole environment here is so sterile. Because it's so echoey and it's just click, click, clack, clack, no music playing or anything. And they have the tall, awkward, like 11 year old sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> this poor kid. She's praying. Lord, thank you so much for this day. May this meal never be lacking for us. Thank you so much for this meal. May this never be lacking for our family. Opening up to I thank you for everything. In Jesus' oh, yeah. name. And Amen. Okay, you were a little bit telling her how I'm feeling. Good. It makes me scared that, you know, she is sensing my feelings and she's reading my emotions pretty darn well. Well, yeah, and you're crying and look sad. Yeah her response to Garrick if he does propose to her that maybe she'll feel like you know she doesn't want to move forward slow down <laughs> oh my god they are is Danielle just tearing like... into the lettuce and yeah like it was just... a um that was bizarre I'm at 3256 look where the, what the data says and Nick with his, um, what is this, fedora is uh, waiting for Danielle. They're going to have a little meeting, a business meeting. Oh, Danielle. Oh, he's wearing a silky brocade shirt. He's dumb. Got his aunt, amulet. Oh, gone. amulet. Since our family dinner. The talk we had left me feeling a little uneasy about our future, especially considering the fact that she still has the lease on her apartment. I love well, that yeah, thing. that it's a lease. She and what he's worried about, lease. he's worried about the money going towards the lease instead of the house. A hundred percent, that's what it is. She's just a great mother to our children, a wonderful sister wife. So keeping Danielle in the family is extremely important for and that income. Do, yep. His do. eyes are way more sloppy here than usual. They're like, yeah, they're very, yeah, and they're like <laughs> further apart. Further too. apart. Yeah, they're like mm -hmm. starting to down yeah they got smoothies at this place this does not look like a smoothie place sometimes it's easier to say things to one person rather than multiple just because like you feel less pressure but since i moved back home things have been a little bit awkward around the house 
So I'm feeling a little bit nervous today going to talk mm, with Because April is being passive aggressive. I know April and Jennifer and I have been doing this for long enough now that we all are, you know, we, we kind of move in step really easy. Yeah. And I have to appreciate the fact that for you coming in as new as you are, maybe you don't always feel as uh, secure. Sometimes being you know, the newest addition to the family, you know, it can be a little challenging or a little weird at times because, you know, everything's so established, you know, I don't want to, um, stir the pot, you know, make any waves, you know, be in all fairness, you know, we're doing this all collectively together. What would have might've worked before might not work as well now. I definitely feel like I might've underestimated how difficult this transition was going to be with Danielle, simply because it was so smooth with April and Jennifer. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel like you had to run out. Then. It's like she's smarter than we thought like she was. Exactly. To voice any displeasure or, you know, any concern that you have. If anything about you feels apprehensive about the way that we're moving forward, I want you to know that those things are valid. So uh, we have to be taking those things into consideration. Sometimes it just kind of builds upon itself. And I don't want that to happen. You know, I just want to talk about it fix it and um just keep moving on there's oh, i don't like this it's so creepy there's no one that can be who you are or can bring what you bring to our relationship and i love you very much sweetie love you too uh, looking forward you know i don't feel forward, anything between the them things, no things for me, for it, me. i feel stockholm but except she's trying to get out god i hope the season ends with her getting out Overall, what are your expectations for how things are going to progress? Keeping that understanding that it looks different for everyone. Um, and also, you know, if I come across a situation or, or dating someone and I'm like, hey, you know, this is moving way too quick for my liking or, you know, I'm just not feeling right about this. You know, even if the group consistence is yes, 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 I need to not be afraid to be like, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Well, I just... While I have you here by yourself, I know that you leaving the house impacted April very uh -huh. Yeah, April's at home going, Nick, she really fucked with me. Yeah. Like, April. Ugh. Listen, yeah, she's I, not into the family that she's not in the family. She was never mm -hmm. from the get-go. Such merry energy. And, like, like this is, this is I feel like, De Janelle being like, Cody, can we meet at a restaurant and Mary not be there so that I can actually, yep. like, keep my thoughts in my head? Um, mm -hmm. 3621. I'm sure she would love the chance to speak with you. Manipulative. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a hit to all of us, but I can tell that Danielle leaving the family hurt April uh, in a deep Because April you know, didn't think she had it in her. Our family, oh, and God. in particular our children, are extremely important to her. So I hope that's something that they're going to be able to kind of hash out. Okay, with. okay. So this but, is what happened. <laughs> April was like... She came in and out of my life, and I have a son. I have a teenage son, and you know how he felt? He felt abandoned, and I can't believe that she would do that to my son. And so that's how April's going to swing this, that it was like a personal, you know, injury. Oh, April is definitely Danielle making this about her. her. She's the victim here. Yep. As much as Danielle has expressed that she still wants to be with our family, the fact that she does still have an apartment on lease, like, well, she can't get, just like it's get, not that easy just to like turn off the why lease. That's it's a lease. That's why yeah. there's like that's the point. right? So things can dissolve at any moment. It's definitely something that concerns me. I'm sure she's more concerned too because she's going to be out money. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. This is good. Okay. All right. Uh, wait. All right. That's I'm at 37 good. or 3723. And we're with the Murfelds. Okay. So it's nighttime now. And for some reason, there's like a box of like brand new champagne glasses sitting out on the table. And a shitload of like Gatorade and oh, oh there's cause, cause, uh, beer Eric likes to work out. He's remember he told Natalia. He's been really working on his bod for uh, boom boom time. Ooh. Ooh. 
his fucking face during this whole thing is like you can see the wheels going 25 miles an hour yep. in his head just how, how do i, I explain spin? this mm-hmm. yep and it gets worse and then mary at uh, mary uh danielle gets all pissy this is good his this stupid is button shirt but he's terrifying in this scene too though because the way he like is trying so hard to like overtly gaslight them. It's like, no, no, I didn't say that. And Danielle's like, yes, you did. Okay, here we go. Uh, 3746. When he first asked me to date him, he said he would get off all dating platforms. It was not me who requested this. Actually, I didn't even know he used those platforms. So I was surprised when I took out his cell phone to use the translator and I saw that the application notification. It was a bit stressful because I thought he wasn't being totally honest with me. I don't know why people haven't learned yet. If you're going to cheat or have an affair, turn your notification. Yeah. Totally yeah. Because yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Listen, I've yep. been, I've been on the other end of that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Ugh, you dumb turn, dumb. Uh, like and he and he's looking with his stupid like dumb little boy face like, "What?" Oh, but I wasn't looking at him. But Natalia's like, "No, I know how these apps work. That's how yeah, I like- Did God tell you like to go to your notifications and leave it on then. This is all God's yeah. fault now. This could so easily have been fixed. Uh, 3822. <sighs> Since he was the one who proposed deleting those apps to start with. Yeah. 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 You still have your profile on there. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh, <laughs> fucking dumb oh. shit. yeah she, oh, she's oh. scrolling through like yeah you can like you can he's like oh, oh. like isn't the first oh, thing you do when fingers. you get in a relationship you're like okay well, i'm gonna delete these i don't need these anymore but he's like oh i don't know how that got there yeah but they Here. also make like they they make apps that you can like have as like the icon on your phone screen okay. but it's actually like Oh Ashley God! Madison. Ashley Madison, is that correct? Was I correct in that? Is that the, sure. the cheating? Yes. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gianni was on there as Snooki's husband. <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. The deal. I mean, I'm being cornered by these two women, and they are livid. This is not a comfortable situation. They're like, both staring at him like you dumb fuck. Just... I just, I'm just trying to make dinner. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you've been caught. I'm just trying to make dinner. I don't. I don't know what they're all upset about. Like, dinner, like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so delete it. I this ago. is sad. Whoa. I love Danielle. I, I don't like understand Danielle. translator, please. Wow, Danielle's pissed now. She's like, oh, mm-hmm. so when she tells you to delete it, you're I get gonna it. Delete it. When I told you months ago, it was no. And he's like, but it'll delete our information. She's like, yeah, dumb fuck. It takes five minutes to create a new profile. She remembers wow. every word of that conversation uh-huh. and it's been running in her head. And now he's like, that, that didn't happen. She's fucking pissed. And she's been, yep. and he can't, she went off script here. Like this, yep. this conversation was not supposed to be happening. So she's, she's like, mad I hate when her. he does this. I hate when he acts dumb, babe. I mean, I said that to him in Colorado and he disagreed with me. But as soon as Natalia says it, it's like, no problem. Oh, jealousy, huh? Weird. Like what? Like, and now he's just cutting. Like he's hacking away at his like meat, ignoring mm-hmm. the whole situation. Does not feel good. 
Danielle, get out of this. I just told her. Oh, okay. Yeah, but why are you doing it now? And when I suggested it, I should have done it. We've been together for so long, and I literally said the same thing. By the way, they did a live yesterday, so they're still like together, like a live Q and A. Which I don't know why they're allowed to legally do that. Like, why would TLC let them do that? Yeah, don't when, ruin it for well, us. Yeah, I want to at least think you might have the, you know, wherewithal to leave him. Forty thirty-seven. My heart is like breaking in this moment. I'm so hurt because he doesn't respect you or care about you, Danielle. Know. Like, you know, yeah, get him. That's a that's an absolute. Concern. So you don't look at who's liked you. No, I get messages and it tells me if somebody's oh. like me, but I don't. Because your notifications are all on. But I don't go on there. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, like exactly. I don't log into my email on my computer every day. He's like, when it sends me a notification that people are interested, I go and see who's interested. I, click I don't. It. Yeah, I don't yeah, I, go I don't, on there and look. I don't type in www.tindr.com. Right. That's what he's saying. He's saying it's like it, it would be rude if I ignored the app. How do you think the app <laughs> is going to feel? 4103. That's a lie. You bitch. Ooh. Danielle, when you're like, what should I do? Look and listen at all the signs yes. being pummeled towards your head yeah all right well we actually did it um this is someone week. who is just trapped in there and she like she just doesn't want to leave you got to get up and go and it's going to be yeah. fucking hard take it from me but like get out yes. don't just sit there and keep complaining like, like i don't know why this keeps happening even if you're if, if you, people you don't know like see you and your partner together and they tell you no you should leave like yeah. you probably should leave especially the one on he's the cheating that's better. like she doesn't want him either like she could be like hey have him go for it you guys are happy together uh, i'm staying yeah. out of it but she's like we should both leave he sucks <sighs> Next week we get those like a sutta, the sutta hutter sutta the 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 Muslim couple. Oh, okay. Back, which I was like, oh, really? Should, should we watch the preview? Oh, I mean, if you want, let's yeah, do sure. It. Let's do it. Let's let's round it out. Um, okay. This is like a whole new venture in life. We're on our way to the airport to pick up Keisha. We're super excited oh, to finally cute. meet her in person. Oh. She's having some concerns about how everything is going to uh -huh. happen. She didn't know any of this before today. I just don't know if you this is know April. the seriousness of the impact you had. Oh my God, shut oh. up, April. Back home, just doing it by myself, I thought it would be less hurtful. <sighs> this could be a make it or break a trip. This is good, this is good. Calls. Just out of the blue. She did tell us we could come see her, and then she called Justin back, and she said not to come. We're, we're going anyway. There it is. <gasps> you want to just jump over the back fence? We're tired of being treated like crap. Ooh. What's the number? Oh. Profilus. EX. Ted. Thank I felt disappointed. Pierre did not want to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. Dentalia's like 10. And she goes, You always Wait. worry about defending him. Don't defend him. Wait, so he was looking at 10 different people or he yeah, had like 10 he's... different profiles that he Oh, had that's what she was saying. <gasps> yeah, no, he probably does have 10 different profiles. I totally believe that. Ew. And they're all probably hidden under fake icons. <gasps> um, Gross. Yeah. Gross. Also, TLC, I never want to watch Meet the Culpos. It's always trying to get me to click, like, to go directly into Meet the Culpos. No one's watching that. No one wants to watch me. that. Oh, okay. Anyway, so that looks good. But yeah, the, um, the religious family are going, the Tony Alamo family are going to just, like, go visit their Stock. Ex. Stock. Yeah. She's like, I don't want to see. And they're like, should we just go over the back fence then? I mean, we're going to go anyway. Fucking bitch. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's it. So this up, um, you're going to get four free episodes this month. And then after that, you know, like you have the two from yesterday and then this one, 
And then we're going to put in um, next week's episode of TRP. Uh, uh, Roseanne, uh, stash from the past. It's 420 month on, I'm excited. You know, on everything, on TRP. And also um, stay tuned for 420 on a Saturday. That'll be live on YouTube, but behind a paywall. So if you're a member, you can watch it on YouTube and there'll be a live chat. And we'll have all, all our regular guests, um, fourth annual, and we'll do some fun pot stuff. I, I got an idea last night that's a little just crazy enough to work um, oh and I think okay everything amanda I said we got it all figured out no yeah because jody's problem. like i still don't really understand it but i'm gonna go ahead along with yeah, it. explain this really good vibe okay yeah. uh, bye guys. Hey guys love you guys uh, all right bye, well you know bye. what time bye bye <laughs>